You know what time is it? It's time for some tips and tricks. Stay tuned. First of all, we all know about the three ways of us recording, you know, videos. One being self mode, the other one being camera facing outward mode, and the other one using the proximity sensor. Now, proximity sensor, you can use it in clever little ways, and a lot of people don't know about you know the techniques that you can do. Well, I'm about to show you about the proximity sensor. Now, a lot of people have asked, you know, how are we able to record videos without actually touching the phone? It's actually simple. It's actually using the obviously the rear view camera of your phone, and obviously on the front of your phone you've got your proximity sensors. However, if you was to place this there against something, it would start recording, yeah, doing the normal regular clip. So, for example, if I'm doing my beams like when I do my magic stuff, I'll lean it against something, obviously not on this wall because it does drop down the back, but lean it against something and it's there and I get into place. So I usually get like, say about a, a second or so to get in position and then it starts recording so that I'm ready for the thing. So that's using the proximity sensor. Now, some extra little twist that I do uh, is where I put this in a microwave. Now I don't suggest you do this in a microwave, especially using when it's on, unless you've got a combination cooker where you don't have to use, have to use the microwave feature. Or you can do this in a fridge, it works both ways, or in a cupboard. Where you put the phone in the cupboard, put it, obviously put the, you know, open the cupboard up or whatever, or microwave, whatever you want to use. Put it inside, make sure it's in position, and close the microwave as quick as possible, or cupboard. Okay, now, by the time you close it, it's just about to record. So then when you open it, you get that unique shot of like, whoa, there's a camera inside. You know, so, so you get a different aspect, and you can do that the same way in reverse. So put it in, keep the door open, it's already recording because you've already got it, and then close it on, on top of it. So you're getting both Now, ways. I know a lot of people out there are really embarrassed, and it's understandable, about going out and doing beams, you know, in public places. That, I can understand, but there's a way of overcoming it with this next trick. Now, as I was saying, a lot of people, uh, you know, are trying to overcome the, the embarrassment of, of rec recording in public. Well, there's a simple way of doing it. Using your proximity sensor again on your phone, now, you are used to speaking to people on your mobile phone as a conversation. You are? Of course you are. Everybody's doing it. Millions and millions and millions of people around the world speak on the phone every single day. Well, there's a clue. Your rear view facing camera is there. Turn it onto beam. Ba 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 ba. Put it to your head. You talk as if you're talking on the phone. Don't talk like there's a person there. Just talk about what you might be shooting that side. So let's say, I know there's, there's a, a, a fun fair or a theme park at the side of you. Right? You stand with your face there and start talking. It says, so this is my favourite ride. This is the one I'm, we're going to be going on next. You know, it's absolutely fantastic. People just think you're talking on the phone. Gets that shyness out of it. So using the proximity sensor. And if you got it on vibrate, you can feel when it's vibrating, you feel it's end. So when you've ended it and that vibration, just quickly do, just quickly do that, you know, like just naturally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just put it back, wait for the vibration and continue talking. So if you're shy, this is a great feature for you to use. Now one thing, if you've got a breast pocket, you know, with the pocket inside of it, you've got the proximity sensor, you know, quickly thing, and you can put it, make sure your camera's out, you don't want to be inside the pocket, so make sure it's lying, so it all depends what type of pocket. And you can actually just quickly put it in your pocket and then walk. And you've got like a simple breast pocket shot. You can just do the simple walking shot. So just press the cell phone and as you're walking, like I do on the beach, just do this. And just walk and just look around just naturally. And you're doing a bit. You don't have to talk. It's, it's actually can be quite interesting. Now, a lot of people ask us regular posters on Beam. How do we get so popular? Well, the clue is at the beginning just then. Regular posting daily videos and not just doing the same old videos every single day even though that does work but people have already seen it if you know what I mean try and be a little bit different now the sort of stuff that I do is I'll, I'll, I'll throw in magic I'm not saying you should have to do magic but think of something unique to yourself you know so I'll do magic sometimes I'll you know I'm going out picking my daughter up from school you come along with me and we'll just have a question and answer thing or whatever. Ask people, you know, let give people a chance to ask me questions and I personally go on their profile to react and give them, so it's like a more of a personal connection. So that helps getting, you know, people to return back to your videos, you know. And it's all about, you know, 
you know, checking that discovery page as well and checking out other new people. Don't think, oh, I'm not watching him because I, I want people to watch me. That's not, you're never going to get anywhere if you just think, you know, I'm just going to make videos and, and people think, people need to know that you're there. You know, there's no way they can search it as of yet on Beam, you know, to what, you know, they can't just search your user and think, oh, I'm going to find out or search uh, uh, ma the word magic and all of a sudden, boom, there's a lot of people doing magic. It's not YouTube, this is Beam. You know, them features may be coming to be very soon, but, you know, you need to do a little bit of work. So go watch other people's beans, react to those beans, you know, follow new people and keep reacting and reacting and reacting. And then you'll find those people you've reacted to may think, oh, who's this person? Oh, and, uh, you know, they might come to your pro and come to your, you know, then come to you to react back as a reply, maybe. And then they, they think, oh, hang on a minute, they've got a great video here. And then they'll go to your profile, see, they might check another one, and you might get another and think, oh, and then before you know it, oh, this is how it's done. It's not no secret. I'm not, I, I'm not, I have nothing to hide. You know, that's how it's done. Anyway, that's your tips and tricks for today. For Beam, obviously. Anyway, until next time, until you see all the other people, obviously, doing their video reactions, that's it from me.